All right, looking at the back, these are the kind of problems where I give you a graph, um, I tell you what the graph of it is of, and you need to tell me stuff about the other graph, maybe the function or the derivative, something like that. So let's look at the first one. Uh, here they're telling me this is the graph of f prime of x. So when I look at this, this is the derivative. These are a bunch of slope values. You can almost think of it like this is the slope axis. These are no longer y's, these are slope values. All right, and we want to know on what function is, sorry, on in what interval is the function increasing? So let's think about this. We can go back to my little chart that I, I made that, that I know you guys all love. All right, and I said, if the function is increasing, which is what we want to know, that means the first derivative needs to be positive. Okay, and what I'm looking at here is the first derivative. Positive values are above the x-axis. Negative values are below the x-axis. So we are increasing when our derivative is positive, meaning above the x-axis. And that's going to occur, um, it doesn't really tell me if it goes on forever, so I'm going to pretend like it stops here at negative 5. That's going to occur from negative 5 to about negative 3.2. We're above the x-axis. And then again, we're above the x-axis from about negative 1.5 up to about 0.8. positive 0.8. That's all when we're above the x-axis. All this is positive slope. All right. Decreasing is going to be completely the opposite. When our function is decreasing, our derivative is negative, meaning below the x-axis. So that occurs in between here, which we said was negative 3.2 to about negative 1.5. And it occurs after that 0.8 all the way until the end, about point, negative 6. So about 0.8 all the way to about negative, I'm sorry, positive 6. All right. Now we want to know on what intervals is f prime of x increasing? So this is f prime of x. And increasing literally means going up from left to right. So we are talking about what we are looking at. And we want to know when is what we're looking at going up from left to right. OK, so it's going up from about here until there. And it's going up from about negative 4 until negative 6. So f prime of x, what we're looking at, is increasing from about negative 2.5 to about 0. And then again from about negative 4, I'm not sorry, positive 4 to 6. All right. Now they want us to say, all right, now where is our function concave up? Our function, and then I'm kind of skipping over the decreasing for a second because they're these two are tied together. The function is concave up when the second derivative is positive. And the second derivative is tied to the first derivative right here. The second derivative is positive where the first derivative is increasing. Well, we just answered that question. The first derivative is increasing from negative 2.5 to 0 and 4 to 6. So it's concave up in the same place, negative 2.5 to 0 and 4 to 6. All right, let's go back and answer the second half of that question. They also want to know where it's decreasing. Well, it's decreasing when it's going down from left to right. And by it, I should be more clear, the derivative is decreasing when the derivative is going down from left to right. So it's decreasing and it's decreasing. 
So we're going to say from negative 5 to about negative 2.5. And again, from 0 to about 4. Just like before, the second derivative is negative, which is concave down, when the first derivative is decreasing, which we just answered. So the same answer, negative 5 to negative 2.5 and 0 to 4. All right. Now they go ahead and ask, on what interval is the first derivative concave up? Hmm, when is the first derivative concave up? All right, so now we're really going one step further, which is not really what you're going to be asked on your test, so don't worry too much if this is a little bit harder for you. But we are really being asked when the, basically the third derivative is positive and when the third derivative is negative for this. Um, and really because it's not going to be on our test, I don't want to completely confuse you. Um, so for right now, we're going to skip over that question. Okay.